Hello everybody, welcome back. One of the things I really like about Star Citizen is the fact that there are going to be a lot of specialized vessels in the game, unique spacecrafts that we will be able to purchase, acquire, in order to perform a certain activity and in general follow our dream path in the verse. One of these specialized vessels is of course the Crucible, a dedicated repair ship equipped with the repair arms, a drone operation center and all the required equipment to repair a damaged spacecraft. The Crucible is going to be an excellent option for every player that wants to follow that kind of gameplay, for every player that wants to be involved with ship repairs and play as the technician in the verse, but he doesn't want to be just a crew member, a technician in the multi-crew vessel of another player or an organization and follow them around. Instead, the Crucible is going to be an excellent option for players that want to be technicians in the Star Citizen universe, but they want to have their own freedom, going from one system to another, offering their services, and trying to make money and have fun in that way in the verse. The Crucible in reality consists of two parts, a rotating control bridge, the cab, and a detachable pressurized workshop, the SCARAB. This kind of design gives the opportunity to the Crucible to not only repair fighters inside the Scarab, but also larger ships with its larger repair arms and the drones it comes equipped with. Its maximum crew is 4 persons, its length is at 80 meters, its mass is at 525,500 kilograms, and its cargo capacity is at 300. The first part of the Crucible is the cab, a carefully designed repair-oriented bridge with multiple operation stations, and in general this section of the ship doesn't only serve as the bridge, the cockpit of the vessel, but it also includes storage, living quarters, and dedicated EVA lockers, lockers that will allow the members of the crew to get out and operate in zero gravity, something that is going to be necessary if you are repairing a larger ship. The Crucible may have a maximum crew of 4 persons, but it is a vessel designed for a single player to operate it smoothly, to operate the flight and repair control systems alone, and this is happening by simply rotating the bridge. Obviously it is going to be more efficient if you have a bigger crew, AI or other players, but if you want to go solo out there and perform repair with the Crucible, it's going to be possible. When the bridge is facing forward, then the Crucible can operate as a normal spacecraft and in reverse, the owner can look out over the repair bay and interact with the arms and the other systems and generally perform any required repair. A quite unique ship design that gives the option to players that really love that peaceful activity, that really love performing repairs in the verse, to perform this activity with ease and be the masters of their own journey. The second part of the Crucible is the Scarab and it is the actual workshop of the vessel and where the magic happens. The Scarab is designed to support pressurized repairs of fighters like the Hornet or the Gladiator and in general the Crucible is focusing more on anvil fighters in order to be able to repair them with ease. But it can also work in depressurized mode, opening the external clamser doors, allowing the crew access to repair larger vessels like the Catalas, for example. The SCARB has two internal repair arms that make the repairs possible, and when it is attached to the cab, it gives direct access to the crew, allowing them to become involved with the repairs personally. In general, the whole repair process is an activity with two major roles, the repair task manager, and the repair arm operator. The repair task manager assesses the damage of a ship and designates repair tasks to be undertaken and of course is responsible for picking the best material for the job, the materials that will have the best results. Then the repair arm operator starts reconstructing the ship following two procedures, stripping and patching. Stripping is when the operator removes areas of the hull that are partially damaged, that are partially destroyed in order to clear the damaged area and make the repairs easier. And patching is the act of restoring a ship's or common surface, in general restoring the integrity. These roles will be possible to be covered by one only person of course, but it will be a lot more efficient to have NPC 
or even better players working uh, the different roles trying to perform the repairs as fast as possible. The internal repair arms will be responsible for the bulk of the repairs, but the rest of the crew can also use personal multi-tool in order to speed up the process. What makes the design of the crucible even more unique is the fact that the scarab can be detached and remain at a certain spot, at a certain area, fully stationary. In that way it can work for a craft or a fighter as a space station and continue repairing it while the cab can focus on other duties, can perform other activities or it can simply start repairing with its large repair arms and its drones, bigger vessels, bigger capital ships even like the Bengal. Something that overall is definitely increasing the versatility and the flexibility of the crucible. An interesting fact about the fighters that are getting repaired inside the scarab while the scarab is attached to the cab, to the crucible in general, is the fact that they are going to be treated as cargo and they can even travel like this with the crucible. They can even navigate through jump points while they are being repaired inside this unique vessel. This is creating opportunities for a crucible pilot, for a crucible owner to make some extra money from not only repairing a damaged vessel but also offering transportation to this vessel owner, to this vessel pilot, to the nearest space station, to the nearest safe zone. Some more characteristics of the crucible I would like to mention have to do with its thrusters and its weaponry. It has 4 main and 20 maneuvering thrusters and the 20 maneuvering thrusters show how important it is for a crucible pilot to have absolute control when maneuvering around a large vessel in order to perform repairs. And as for its weaponry, it only comes with two turrets, a size 7 turret top and a size 6 turret bottom for protection. We don't really have much info about what kind of equipment these turrets are going to have, but it is obvious that the goal of this vessel is to perform repairs and have some firepower to protect you while performing these repairs, not to be on the offensive or something like that. In general I think that the Crucible is going to be an excellent support ship for fleets and organizations to have around and every serious organization should have a couple dedicated repair vessels like the Crucible in their fleets, in their service but it is going to be an excellent vessel for freelancers as well that want to travel around the verse, set store at a remote area and offering their services. You can even follow the conflict if you want to make some money. If you know that two organizations are fighting somewhere, you can go to that area and offer your services to both parties or to one party in order to make money. Obviously, if you want to follow the path of the freelancer and go out there solo with your crucible, you will have to know that a long crucible will eventually attract unwanted attention, so you might want to have some escort, some protection flying around you and keeping you safe. Something that also creates opportunities for other players with different preferred play style. This was the Anvil Crucible, a dedicated repair vessel, perfect for performing this activity and in general following the peaceful path of the technician in the Star Citizen universe. Thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. I am Squid of Love and I will see you around the verse. Bye bye.